Welcome back to my uh, channel. Now, um, in the last few live streams, I did do the orphanage experiment of sorts, and I am I'm going to continue that. Though right now, I um, needed a slightly less stressful stream today. Maybe later tonight I'll get back in the orphanage. I don't know. Plus, I've done them for three streams straight, and while what are you doing, bud? But and while I um was doing that. A lot of my sims from this series, Simstros, have been aging up, which is really odd because they all have really long lifespans. But yeah, a lot of them have been aging up, so I figured I better go check in on them, do something that requires a little less stress. Although this is probably a bad house for less stress because they're like really hurting for cash. <laughs> but anyway, I will continue the orphanage thing maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Uh, right now, the orphanage is at one adult, one teen, three elementary school kids one toddler, four babies. And it's already out of hand. And I said that I was going to add another kid at the beginning of each stream. So it's just going to get worse. <laughs> but like I said, my, my other sims from this series have been aging up while I wasn't looking. And um, I'm not feeling energetic enough to deal with the orphanage right now. So we're going to deal with these people for a bit. This is House Briar, um, Lord Avalar, Lady Eleanor. And um, he is now a full-fledged adult. She is actually a young adult now. They still have not had any kids. They still have not even tried to have any kids, honestly. So the, I can see how this house is going to become extinct because they are one of the extinct houses of Dorne. But we're going to give them a shot. We're going to give them a shot. But uh, they really haven't had a lot of time to even really talk to each other much lately because, as I said, they're really, really, really hurting for cash. Now, this house is much bigger, but right now, in the interest of saving money, I am not actually furnishing the other parts of the house until there are people living in those parts of the house, because we really do not have the money. Do not have the money at all. Now, I think their bills are paid for this week, considering it is Friday. But, um, yeah. Their bills have been like 35, 3600 each week. Yeah, they... So, they're probably going to get more bills very soon. And, as you can see, they're a little bit short on cash. They both do have jobs. They're not very high in their careers yet, because, unlike some people, I don't slave drive them into getting promotions every day, because they've got really long lifespans, and it's a little ridiculous to think you're going to get promoted four times in one week. Okay, so, yeah, he's on level four of his career. And she just started hers, because she just aged up to young adult not long ago. So she's only on level two of hers. She's a bit hungry, though, so we'll get her butt back out of bed. Because I do not let them stay in bed and starve to death. It's not my thing. Okay? I, I obsessively watch their needs. I do not tell them to do stuff when they don't need to do it. And I do tell them to do stuff when they do need to do it. And I usually don't, um, don't mess with them a lot. I usually let them do their own thing. When there's nobody for them to talk to or anything, I will sometimes make them do some whims. I'll tell them to do stuff that I know they don't do autonomously, but for the most part, I just like letting them be and seeing what will happen. Because as I said, I've got really long lifespans, so I don't need to sit there and slave drive and force them through every second of their day and plan out every state of their life and every child and every promotion and every grade and all that stuff, because I just find that really ridiculously unrealistic and boring and stupid and annoying, because, like I said, I've got really long lifespans. I don't need to sit there and crack a whip on my sims. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Like, for instance, she, she aged up, I guess, 13 days ago, which I think last time I played them, she had aged up, like, she had been three days into young adulthood. Now she's, like, 13 days into young adulthood because I'm playing some other stuff, like the orphanage. But as you can see, she's a young adult. She's got 27 days left before she's even an adult. Um, and of course she got another horrible trait because I randomized by rolling dice. <laughs> So I can't make her, like, go fishing or catch frogs or any of the other quick cash methods. Um, because that's what I was basically the last time I played them. I spent a whole lot of time trying to get them to make money. And they're still really hurting for cash. Because their house is really super, super huge. Because it's a holdfast. It's supposed to be huge. But right now, they're just starting out. So they really do not have the financial wherewithal. 
care of this place right now. But, um, since I can't make her fish or catch frogs because she got that horrible squeamish trait, I've been making her do a lot of programming and stuff, and as you can see, she's fully rested, even though it's, like, only not even 6 a.m. Now, she does work in four hours, so hopefully she can get this hacked before then. So we're going to fast forward a bit, since hacking does take some time. And he's asleep, so it's not like she's missing anything else. But yeah, um, let's see, I started at about somewhere between 4.30 and 4.40 Eastern Time. So I'll probably go till maybe 6.30, barring any interruptions and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, all the um, elders in town are starting to die now. That's like the third and fourth one who have died since I started this town. I think Dennis and Hello, Vivian Kim died in my last orphanage stream. He's back awake again. He really has to use the toilet. So please go do that, buddy. Go do that. Now, does he work today? No, he's off today. So we'll probably have him do some fishing and stuff. But I'm going to wait till she leaves for work before I tell him to do any of that. Because when they're both home, I usually let them pretty much have free will. Of course, now i got to wait for her to finish hacking. But for the most part, when they're both home, I let them do whatever they want. So she got $408 from hacking. Yeah, more. Oh, the, the dude in the church lady had died. Aw. <laughs> yeah, I'm really going to miss him. And his wife, who looks like pink and wears evening gowns during the day, she died. Yeah, all the elders in town are dying now. <gasps> oh my. But since I have a mod, I don't have to worry about it becoming ghost town. Like it, what happens in unmodded games. Because... There's a million fifty three point nine seven eight babies in this town right now. I'm approximating. <laughs> but, yeah, I grabbed a couple kids from um, town or other unplayed households when I started the orphanage. And these kids, like, had, like, 30 freaking people in one level of their family tree. It was a little disgusting. A little. A little out of hand. But anyway... So, since they're both awake and stuff, I'm going to let them do whatever they want until she has to go to work, and then I'll have him go do some fishing and stuff to try to make them some money, because they're going to need it, like badly. Yes, yes, I know. Well, she says she's going to go, um, uh, whoa! Whoa! Are we seeing what's going on here? These two have been together for, like, 12 years or something. I think it's like seven nine years. They've been together nine years if you go by my lifespan. And this is the first time they've ever actually done anything. And as you can see, it's happening autonomously. Nine years, baby. Nine years. What is she squeamish about the freaking dishes? Seriously? Cleaning the counter. She's having a fit about that. But yeah, they've been together nine years. Nine years. Which is like 90 days. Because that's my lifespan. So Ten days equals one year. So after nine years, this is a monumental occasion, ladies and gentlemen. It's a monumental occasion. After nine years, they have finally consummated their marriage. Apparently, he was just waiting until she was an adult. He's got a thing about teenage girls and not wanting to... I don't know. But, um, which is odd, because he asked Alice out on a date when she was still in her teens, but we won't mention that. Okay. She said no, of course, because she's not a skanky hoe. But anyway... <laughs> So yeah, and she's got to get her butt like to work, like immediately. And I don't know why it constantly does this thing, where it wants to auto fast forward the second, the second they get out of um, bed. And we're gonna put her in some outfit because I can't stand the pixelization. She hasn't worn that one in a few days. We'll put her in that one. Yeah, you too, bud. I cannot stand this pixelization. It makes me kind of want to hurl. Alright, um, let's see. Come on, come on. She's off to work anyway. But yeah, nine years, baby. Nine freaking years. I can't see. It's taking too long. But I think she's going to work right now. Yes. So, we better save, considering that took nine freaking years, babe. Nine years! That's kind of crazy. And I think I probably just saved over my other save file. Oh well, whatever. It's in the same town anyway. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so, after nine years, nine years, that's kind of crazy, and something is broken. Is the computer broken? 
what is broken? Something is broken. I think it's a stereo, but for some reason it wouldn't let me like click that. Probably because it's so skinny, it's hard to click on. But yeah, nine years! Nine years! Pleasantly satisfied. You should be dying of shock right now, bud. So anyway, yeah, that happened. And it was autonomous, may I point out. So you need to fix this and then you need to go do some fishing and stuff. Because we are really short on money. And he doesn't have to work today. But yeah, how insane is this? He's an adult, right? He's an adult. Now I know this is pretty unrealistic, but just to show you. Times woohooed. One. <laughs> One. And they've been together literally 90 days. Because he started out with 40 days left in young adult. And he lived through that. And then he did another 42. Or, yeah, 42. So 82 days. So they've been together a little over 8 years. A little over 8 years. That is nuts. And also, also, if you missed my earlier streams, um, my mod is set so that even when they're not trying for a baby, there's still a chance of pregnancy. So, she might be finally having a baby after over eight years. Yeah, um, but do what you're told. And we'll have him go look for frogs out back. Since he's not squeamish like the wifey. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I hate the trait. I hate it. But I randomize all the traits because otherwise all my sims would have the exact same personalities. And as I've said a million times, I struggle with realism. And realistically speaking, people have stupid, crappy, annoying traits that we don't like. Including my sims. Oh, he got a dirt frog. How nice for him. Let me guess, it's only worth like 10 bucks or something, right? 30. Good, but not nearly what we need. So he's going to make some chips and salsa before he goes fishing. I guess he worked up an appetite after eight some years waiting on his wife. Seriously, he must have had something about I'm going to wait till she's an adult. Alright, survey flop. Eleanor sent out a survey to her team, but when the responses start coming in, Eleanor realizes that the data is practically unusable. When Eleanor is asked to present her findings to learn what she has to learn, she has to fix it quick. Fudge the numbers or resend the survey. Um, well, they're nobles and they're kind of entitled and they don't necessarily make good decisions. So, everyone loved hearing how great the company is doing. Eleanor couldn't have done anything better. Performance came medium. Wow, cheating pays. Cheating pays. Play lying pays. This is Westeros. Wow. It's so real. People that do crappy stuff come out on top. <laughs> See? It's true to Westeros, and I'm not even trying that hard. Alright. So he wants to tell a joke. He's going to club gathering. Well, bud, that's all nice and well. But you need another, um, 20... Six hundred dollars right now, so you're gonna be spending a lot of fishing today. A lot, a lot. Okay, you are like really slow at making these chips and salsa to you, kid. We'll eat them. We'll just stare at them. Okay. <laughs> I oh, I don't get why they've been doing that lately. It's like we're gonna make food and then just stare at it. And it's not even poor quality. I'm just being a little butthead. Alright. So. After he's done eating. Hopefully he won't drop it when I tell him to do this. We'll have him look for frogs again. And then do some fishing. Did you actually finish your food? That's good. Yeah, I know you want to do other stuff. But you're not allowed to do anything until we get this, um, these bills under control. And hey, your wife lied her butt off and got a performance gain. So maybe she'll get promoted. I don't know what else she needs. What else does he need? He needs one more charisma. And a daily test, which isn't really all that necessary. Okay. So he needs another charisma. So I guess if he quits fishing on his own, before she gets home, we'll have him go get his other charisma point. But for now, we need to do this. Because we need the money. 
Alright. Did he actually catch a frog? I didn't see. No. I was looking at the stream and not the little pop-up thing about frogs are not to be frogs. Can't believe it. Over eight years they've been together. Over eight years. Since she was, like, just old enough to, like, get married. So she's, like, 21 or something now. 21, 22, something like that. Don't be asking me on a date. You have a husband and a bunch of kids and you're lowborn, so away with you. Okay. Alright. Seriously, we should have her beheaded. Eleanor would go for that. She's got the jealous trait after all. Alright, let's see if he'll keep fishing until she gets home. We shall see. Well, at least he caught a couple that were worth twenty, forty dollars. Still not nearly what they need, but she should be home in like an hour or something. I think she's done at three. Same as when she was in school. Will you please like catch that violin or something? I think that's the most valuable thing I've seen them catch is the violin, which is like four hundred and some dollars. But yeah, this is much more relaxed than the orphanage where I didn't have time to breathe. Because I really want to like, you know, get this series underway. Because right now I've only got the first five houses, and only a couple of them have had kids so far. She really makes crappy money. Right, she's home now, but she's actually in a reasonably decent mood, other than being all stressed out, as she always is. So we'll just leave him fish for a while. What is on your hands? That was just weird. That was like some weird graphic glitch. Okay. So she wants to relax in a sauna that we don't have. She wants more. She tasted blood, and now she wants more. More, more. If you know where that reference is from, you are cool. Okay, anyway. I could make him, like, stop fishing. Actually, you know what? While he's fishing, why don't you get... Actually, there's somebody at our door. Some little brat. I mean, some wonderful kid. Um, what do you want, little kid? What do you want? Uh, Beth uh, Pancakes. But we don't have time to talk to your little booty right now. So while he's finishing his fishing, she's going to go and do some more hacking. Because we're still like $2,500 short for bills. $2,400, $2,500, whatever. So this is Bob and Eliza's little critter. I do like her shirt, her little galaxy shirt with the kitty on it. I, most kids' clothes make me kind of uh, throw up in my mouth a little. <laughs> but I hate pastels and I hate cartoon characters. But the galaxy shirt with the cat is not terrible. Not terrible for a kid's outfit. Alright, so we're going to flip it around this way because we care more about what Avalar is doing than what the neighbors are doing. Actually, we should probably watch the front door. Well, at least he's catching a few fish. But I also gotta keep an eye on his mood, because it's probably gonna go downhill, because he's been out there for a while. Come on, finish your little hacking booty. Okay. Yes, I know you're tense. Deal with the girl, just deal with it. She's always tense. Yeah, I think I told that story in an earlier video where I had one Sim who uh, had the jealous trait. And she had every single thing she needed for a promotion, but because she, every single day that she went to work, she was tense because she was leaving her husband. She could never get promoted. So I actually had to get her the, um, stupid carefree reward trait. Davis Holiday has aged up to toddler. Avalar caught another fish. It's still pretty early in the day, and I have the air conditioner's on, so I can't tell if anybody's pulling into the driveway. Alright, um, you gotta go eat. So enough with the fishing for now, because you got to eat. So we'll sell all those little fishies with our script mod, which makes life much easier. $191 worth of fishes. Fishes. Yeah, go eat something. And you... You finish your hacking. Well, I don't know. She's not acting like she's 
showing any signs of pregnancy yet. $615, you go girl. Um, she only has a four in programming though. But we still need some money, so sorry babe. Uh, you gotta keep going. Are you trying to wash invisible dishes again? No, you're just washing your hands for some random reason. Oh, this is her social networking thing. So I guess I'll have her do that because it's really quick and simple for her to do that, which she has to do every day. She only needs five more followers, so she should be good after this. And then she can go eat. Are you again making food and not eating? What are you doing, bud? Oh, he already ate? He already ate. Wow, that was quick. Alright, so she now has gained 20 followers. She now has 40 followers in total, so she should be able to get promoted now. Yeah, she should definitely be able to get promoted now. Like I said, I don't really care that much about them getting promoted, but when they're hurting for cash this bad, I actually do pay a little bit of attention to that. A little bit. A little bit. Because I'm not a slave driver. I don't care how fast they get promoted and how fast their grades go up. I just want them to be able to keep their electric on. Kind of like real life. I just want to be able to keep my electric and my internet on. Is that so wrong? Okay. Follow me, please. I need 40 more so I can take money. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I know. Shameless self-promotion. But why do you think I'm here? I need to get Twitch affiliate. Okay. Let's see. She's got like some weird purple thing on the side of her hat. It's a little strange. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so she's eating and whining about dirty rooms. And, uh, buddy, why are you not doing the stuff you need to do? And I know you guys are home and you finally became a couple after almost nine years, but you really, really gotta make some money before you can, like, even really have any free time. Because I will be a slave driver for a while. Just when it comes to money. Until you guys have enough to pay your bills, then I'll let you be. Then I'll let you be. But for now, you gotta make some money. Alright, so I think she started making a plug-in before. I really wish program hadn't moved to the second thing. So she, yeah, she started making a plug-in, so we'll have her do that really quickly after she's done eating, because those are pretty quick. They don't pay very well, but they're pretty quick. Okay, so after he's done with this frog, we'll have him do some more fishing. He caught almost $200 worth of fish. Yeah, and stuff. Come on. Now, go fishing. He couldn't catch any frogs, and her plug in made $53. So we'll have him fish for a while and put her butt back on the computer, but no, she's going to bed. Even though it's only 8 o'clock at night. Seriously, girl? Seriously? I know you woke up at like four or something, but come on. So I guess we'll just go back to him then, since she's a lightweight who's going to bed at 8 p.m. So we'll fast forward through his fishing endeavors. Oh yeah, I was going to get him his charisma point too. I'll wait till he finishes fishing this time, since I just stopped him early. Now fishing level seven. A mysterious fish that lurks in the depths of each fishing spot. Yeah, I know I said that before, but I had to stop him early because she had to go eat. So, we'll let him finish his fishing and then get his charisma point. Like I said, I normally don't care about promotions and such, but I'm going to be a little bit of a slave driver until they can pay their bills. Then they can do whatever they want. Earn that, baby. Earn it. Okay. Now, why are you catching all the cheapo fish? Your fishing skill went up. Shouldn't you be catching better fish than this right now? Okay. He still wants a new frog, too. Oh, and now he's freaking tired. Well, it's only 10.30. You can fish a little bit longer. Correct. Look at that. Yeah, 10 hours. So we'll make him fish until, like, midnight or something. And then let him go to bed. That was not a fish. Not useful, bud. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop him around midnight since he's tired. And he does actually have to work tomorrow. Why are you getting all these cheap, cheap fish? Do 
got some good ones last time. Well, not super good, but better than this. <laughs> not helpful. But yeah, once they get their uh, bills arranged for the week, they can have a little bit more of a free will. Okay, it is midnight. Try to catch your frog. Bridget Goddard has aged up to child and she's already got white hair. That poor girl. Cameron Gleason moved into Vista Quarry. And he couldn't catch a frog. Okay. Fine, go to bed. And we'll sell these things. Yeah, I usually use this script mod when they have more than one thing to sell. So we'll go back to her, see what her deal is. She's fine at the moment. Should fast forward because there's nobody else here. No, we're not going to a party. Stop calling us. <laughs> I really should silence their phone, seriously. Alright, what's your deal? Oh, great. She's got some dishwashing glitch now. Try for baby. Dang, girl. That was quick. Made him wait eight, over eight years, and now you want to try for a baby. Um, I think she's doing dishes or something. But, um, viruses take longer, but they make more, so go do that. You hate doing dishes anyway. Little Miss Squeamish. Alright, so we'll have her make a virus while she's waiting on his butt to get up. It's only like 3 in the morning. What are you even doing up? But she is off tomorrow. And she has everything she needs for her next promotion. So we'll just have her work on this virus for a bit. Never mind. She's hungry now. Go eat, then you can finish your virus since it's only 3 in the morning. And I doubt he's going to be up at insane hours like your little booty. Finish your sandwich, that's why you're hungry. Aw, oh, the room's a mess. Poor baby. There are bigger problems in this world than dirty dishes, honey. Try for baby, start club gathering. We're not starting club gathering at 3 30 in the morning. We're not starting club gathering at all until you guys have enough money to pay your bills, though. So you got 1500 to go. So after she eats, she can clean up those dishes that she keeps whining about, even though she hates doing dishes. And then she can go back to her virus-making ways. Yeah, just one at a time. That's efficient. You know, if you just picked it up, when you already were doing the dishes, I know, logic has no place in a sim's brain. Okay. Well, work on that virus. Go, go, go. If this virus makes enough money, you might have enough to pay your bills and you can actually do what you want then. Ugh. Of course. Now you got another problem. I'm beginning to think you don't want to make this virus, Eleanor. You keep finding excuses to not do it. Guess what you're doing after you go to the bathroom, though. Take a wild guess. Just guess. Just guess. Come on, we need to make some money so you guys can go back to having a life again. You just have to have enough money for your bills, and you can do whatever you want. Okay, anyway. And she should get promoted at least, but she's not working today, so... Ain't gonna happen quite yet. I don't know what it is about streaming. I'm, like, not hungry at all when I start streaming, and then once I'm, like, streaming for, like, 15 minutes, I'm like, hmm. Food seems like a good idea. I don't know why. Every time. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. I should be getting up soon too because it's like six now. I think he does work today. Okay, he's up. He needs to go eat. He does work in two hours, so you better eat fast, babe. You and your little undies. So he wants to be friendly, tell an insider story. Yeah, yeah, I know. He still hasn't got his charisma point either. 
but he's got less than an hour, so I don't think he's going to be doing that right now. Because I keep wanting to have him fish and then do his charisma point, but then he keeps having other problems before he finishes fishing. <laughs> Didn't even see what he was making. Garden salad. You need to, um... Go a little faster, considering you've got work, like, really soon. Come on. Apparently he really does not want to have time to eat before he goes to work. He's just... <sighs> Seriously? It's excellent, and you're still not eating it. You're just standing there staring at it. It's a little weird. He has low social. Well, that's terribly sad and all, but you gotta go to work, so. Not really a problem we're gonna be working on right now. I guess I can have him, like, talk to people at work. I usually don't do that. But it's not like he's gonna get a promotion anyway, because he still needs another skill point. Come on, go. You're full enough, go. So what can, can we have him talk to people at work? Kevin Baines has aged up to teen. Oh, he's even got a stupid little silly outfit now. Um, fight the power. Make connections, I guess. You are hungry now, too. Enough with the virus, which has taken you 15 and a half years to make. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't... Oh, well, she's off for the entire weekend. She's got, like, a normal person schedule. Yeah, I say that sarcastically because I've had very few jobs with that schedule. Eat your chips. Stop complaining about stupid crap. Eat your chips. Okay, and after she's done with that... Yep. Guess what you're doing again, girl. She can hack again now, so let's do that. Try for baby. Dang, girl. You went into overdrive. Eight years without nothing, and now baby. Must have baby. Psycho. But anyway, I mean, yeah, you need to have a baby because of errors and stuff. Oh, she can now perform freelance work. That's actually my favorite thing to do when they have programming, because even though it takes forever... I've gotten my sims to do freelance work that pays them like $20,000 for one one job, and it's it's nice. It's nice. Deacon Lachienne has aged up to child. Conrad Lachienne has aged up to child. And I don't know if you missed an earlier video where I... Well, she's not having any fun. Um, where I said that I had also reduced the pregnancy chance because it was getting way out of hand. Oh, crap. She was hacking. Crap. I forgot. I thought she was doing the virus still. Yeah, get your fun up, and then you can go back to that. I really need to, like, put a stereo in this room. I could move that one in. But I just feel like they should have a stereo in the Great Hall. Did she go back to hacking, or did it, like, screw up and count that as hacking? No, it didn't. No, oh, she's got land grab systems on there now, too. Yeah, I thought she was doing a virus, that's why I stopped her early, but I forgot she was hacking again. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. I guess we can turn this on. Not that it really matters. Considering I don't have custom music anymore, so there's no point in even having music in the game. When I mean, you don't have custom music, there's no point. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, hurry up and hack your little butt off. If you get enough money for your bills, you can actually do what you want. I think he works till 3, too? I don't know. I don't remember. I have so many sims, I don't even recall anymore. Okay. I gotta keep remembering to get him his charisma point, too. Hmm. I've been so worried about getting them their money. Yeah, you're still like a thousand dollars short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you wanna clean the counter, but guess what? See last statement. Go hack some more. 
All right. And he should be home in a couple hours. Did that, is that computer about to break? I heard the little something broke noise, but it didn't actually show it breaking. For some reason, I've been getting that a lot. It, like, I hear the sound of something just broke, but then it, like, takes a few minutes for it to actually break. <laughs> you need that computer, dear. You need that computer. Yeah, fix it. Try not to die. Okay. And then her fun's low, and her food is gonna be low soon. She wants to do that for some weird reason. Okay. You need to fix things faster. You need to fix things faster. And try not to die. Gotta always say that. What is her handiness even? Two. Hmm. Does not bode well. Oh, and now she's hungry. Alright. Spencer Lewis is aged up to toddler. Good for him. And Maribel Lewis. And Guadalupe Lewis. See, everybody in town's got 15 sets of triplets and twins. Alright. Scavenge for parts. Go eat food. And go watch this stupid channel you want to watch for some weird reason. Watch her drop the food, because they've been doing that a lot lately, and I don't know why. Yeah, I told her to go eat, and she's like... Oh, TV? No, eat. <laughs> you can eat and TV at the same time, dear. Okay. So they still need like another eleven, twelve hundred dollars, and then they can actually do what they want. Okay. Spent a thousand dollars on kids stuff. You have no kids, babe. And I'm pretty sure she's not pregnant. She isn't showing any signs. Abelar has met Vivon while at work. Good for you. And yes, that's spelled V-I-V-A-A-N. I guess it's a Vivon. I don't know. I heard a B. It is like 80 some degrees today. Yeah, September. Pennsylvania. 80 degrees. We don't ask. Okay. Abelar is home. Go finish your salad unless it's spoiled. Conrad Lucien, didn't you just age up? In his little political outfit. Where are you going? Where are you going? I told you. Why? Why? Just had to come and sit down before you could say hi to that kid. You're that tired, are you? You're really not that tired. So finish your salad before it spoils. My goodness. I'm carrying around for an hour now. Doctor had already sat out all day. Mm hmm Yeah, great kid. You're not old enough to vote yet. Why do I want to talk to you? Go take your shower. Alright, so we'll have him take a shower, go back to her. Because her programming makes us a bit more money than his fishing. Yeah, I know. He has to get a charisma point, too. Um, go hack. You can stop with this TV station now, please. Go hack, please. We need some cash. What else do you want to do that you're not going to be able to do until you get money? Make a f flirt with Andrew. That is not your husband. That is Amabel's husband. You little freak. I disapprove of that idea, dear. I disapprove of it. Okay, anyway. Yeah, I'm definitely going to slave drive you now that you're being a little... Anyway. <laughs> Uh, we need the money. Stranger danger. Yes, I'm sure that that 
hit is terrifying. It's like I hate having the air conditioner on because I can't hear outside, but it's like so warm in here I'm ready to turn it down. Even lower. <laughs> And after you're done with that, you can go to the bathroom. It's 5.25. It is way too early to go to sleep. I guess she can take a nap. But she's hacking, so I can't stop her early because she has to actually finish it. Or else she got to start all over again. Avalar, what are you doing? You're hungry. Stop staring at the wall and go eat. Because you only had like two bites of salad left. Come on. Alright, girl. Finish your hacking. 490. Ooh, we're only like 300 short for our bills now. So go take a nap. And you make a friend. discuss interests with this little brat. You want to make a friend, right? Actually, you know what we're going to have him do? After he's done eating, we're going to have him quickly get his charisma point, and then he can go back to fishing. Why is this kid sad? Did he just realize that his last name means the dog? Wait, what is his personality? Insider, ambitious, goofball, domestic. He's got 257 days left. He's got 975 points. He's not carrying around any random crap. He needs one more charisma and to promote his cause. Can you promote causes to kids? <laughs> That'd be funny. Hey, kid, follow my cause. I don't think you can. It'd be funny, though, if you could. No, you can't. <laughs> Alright, get your charisma point, so then you can, like, go fishing and stuff. We only need another $300 though, we're getting there. Of course, it's already Saturday, so the bills are coming really soon. I think he only needs one more, right? Yeah. She should be awake soon again. Oh my. Alright. Only 300 more dollars, then you guys can actually do what you want. Come on! Isn't that motivational? Oh, and you're not having any fun. Well, lucky for you, fishing gives you fun. So look for some frogs. Well, Eleanor does more dishes. Because that's the funnest. Not when she's having her squeamish fits about doing dishes now. Okay, so look for frogs. Do your fishing. Sell this frog for thirty dollars. We'll go back to her. Yeah, her only problem is, well, I don't like doing dishes. All right, um. Well, nobody told you to go do them, babe. You've got no one to blame but yourself. So let's go hack Lothario. <laughs> so we only need 300 more dollars! You can do it! I don't know who's calling him, but I don't care either, so... That is my old Sims kid, which I would never ever have told her to have. I guess kids, she has twins. <laughs> I have played her in ages, though. She went and got herself pregnant with twins while I wasn't playing her. And that is really not part of her plan. And what? Didn't I tell her to hack? What? 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 What happened here? I missed it. Don't know why she got up. Yes. You're not very uncomfortable. You're just uncomfortable. Do this crap, girl. All right. Come on, go faster. Go faster. We need to get to our last $300, and he's catching really crappy fish right now. Come on, you can do it. And then you can do whatever you want. 
until Monday and you gotta start this all over again. So you have two whole days of freedom. Or, or one whole day. A day and a half-ish. <laughs> they really need to start making more money. No, I don't do the money cheat. I find it boring to hand them everything. It's much more interesting to watch them struggle, in my opinion. Because when I have sims that I've played long enough that they, like, have enough money to pay their bills and don't need anything else for the house and whatever, whatever, I'm just like, wow, this is the most boring house ever. They don't have to do anything. Come on. Hack faster. She's going to be whining about food and sleep soon, too. It is after midnight. But she does not have to work today. Tomorrow, whatever. Ooh, 579. Look at that. You did it, girl. You did it. You guys can pay your bills for one more week, and we're going to save right now before anything crashes. I don't trust the game. I just don't trust it. Yeah, do whatever you want, baby. Um, and right now it looks like you want to eat, so why you're not doing that is beyond me. Yay, they did it. They can pay their bills this week. So actually we can let him go to the bathroom now. And he's tired. We'll sell his fish. Under $21. Okay, after you go to the bathroom, since it is almost 1 in the morning, I guess you can go to sleep. And she's going to want to go to sleep after her chips. At least they don't seem to be dropping their food. Although... They are having this other problem where they make food and then don't actually eat it. Okay. What are you doing? I guess you're washing dishes. Alright. Off to bed with you both. Yay! You have enough to pay your bills. So all day Sunday you can actually do whatever the heck you want. I think he has to work actually. He's hungry. Seriously? How can you sleep when you're hungry? Yeah, get up. It's 6 a.m. At least he slept semi-normal. Alright. He does have to work today, though. And he is going to cook grilled cheese. Let's see if we can set the stove on fire for the third or fourth time now. I mean, seriously. He's got three in cooking. Uh. But I think he has enough to get promoted now. Well, he didn't do his daily task, but that's not really that important. Okay. Come on, come on. You can do it. Again, with the not eating. Why are you making food and not eating it? It's weird and unacceptable. Okay. He's gotta go real soon. He is 8 to 3, right? Yes. He's off Tuesday and Friday, weirdly enough. Okay. So we get to spend all day with Eleanor. And I don't have to slay a driver today, although I still should because they're going to be broke again after tomorrow, but we won't talk about that. Alright. We're not starting a club gathering. I and mean, you got to be at work in like 20 minutes. He's staying in shape pretty well for an adult, considering I've never, like, made him work out. <laughs> it's another thing I don't force my sims to be in or I'm sick. Oh, eat something. Isn't that a cutesy little outfit she sleeps in? So she's gonna make eggs and toast. He's got to go to work. Please no fires. Please no. Okay. 
So after she's done eating, she wants to send a happy text and start a club gathering. See, she eats after she makes her food. I don't know why he doesn't. Even when it's excellent, he doesn't eat. Alright, I think she can send her text while she's eating. Oh, he's sad at work. Poor baby. So we'll send a text to Lady Amabel. She's going to go to the bathroom. No, we're not going out. Um, but we can... Well, I guess she is full. So we'll put that away. I guess we can start our club gathering. And yeah, look, we've got all eight people in the club now. But when I make another house, I'm going to have to throw one of them out. Okay. So we'll do our little club gathering and see who decides to be a misbehaving jerk. She wants to tell a joke. Well, Annabelle's right there, so we can go tell her a joke. Well, you need to fix bad relationship. As far as I know, she has a fine relationship. I mean, I haven't played her for a while, but still. <laughs> Maybe fight with some neighbor or something, I don't know. I could check it and see who they're talking about, but I won't. It's not that important. Okay. Go put that away. She's running around in her skimpy little PJs during the club gathering. It's cool. Alright. I don't know what he's all sad about. Most of my sims, their kids are, are now toddlers or children at this point. The Holtz still haven't had a kid. Neither is this house, but... She wants to hug somebody. Who can she even hug? I'll try Alice in. She changed your mind already. Make a friend. Well, then keep talking to these people. Talking about grilled cheese sounds overly fascinating. Oh, that's right. Andrew, she wanted to flirt with. He's not. I don't see him yet. is here. <laughs> don't know where he is, but he's here somewhere. There he is. Don't know why she wants to flirt with him. <laughs> Listen to my story. She's not saying she wants to flirt with him anymore. But I do not forget those things, dear. Alessand's a young adult now, too. Yeah, she's a young adult. She's one of the ones that keep aging up. I think other kids have aged up to either toddler or kid. Oh, um, yeah. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, girl. I think Andre and Amore have both aged up to adult now, too. Amore is not in the thing, because we don't, we can only have eight people. <laughs> Amory and Alice are not in the club, because we don't have enough slots, and the Nexus needs to make clubs bigger. So, I've been gone for about an hour. I was going to try to go for a, a full two hours, but I don't know why I'm getting so hungry, because I like, I had some fries a few hours ago. That should count, right? <laughs> oh my. Discuss the neighborhood changes. Okay. I'm always afraid when I get all my sims together, I'm like, alright, who's gonna cheat on who? Because I have it so that they can 
No. Yeah, I have it so that they will do things like that on their own. Not because I ever want them to, but because, say it with me now, realism. People, realistically, cheat on people even when there is no excuse ever to do so. But people do it anyway, so I let my sims have the ability to do so, even though I will hate them forever if they do. <laughs> Alright, call someone. Well, she doesn't generally do that on her own, so we can probably call Amore or Alice, since they're not in the club. How's it only noon? I guess because I'm not fast forwarding since she actually has people here to talk to. <laughs> she looks so thrilled. Oh, she's all tense because Avalar's not here. So yeah, I normally switch houses when I get notification all full, but now I think I'm just going to switch houses for each stream because I've got so many houses now, everything's just all over the place. her expression when she's tense. She looks so pissed off. But that's like her permanent state. <laughs> she's always tense. <laughs> Alice looks like she's contemplating the wallpaper. It's like, wow, this is exciting wallpaper. Why are you shouting forbidden words at Alice Ann? What'd she do? Read in a journal. Actually, ironically, I actually could buy her a journal. I shouldn't, though, because I know they're going to be short on their bills again. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to purchase it from the bookshelf because you get a lot more options when you purchase it from buy mode. So I think I'll do it that way. Of course, now the purchase books menu is taking about five years to load. Because I don't think... I don't think you can... Um, you can set the color when you just buy it from the bookshelf. Seriously, where is it? Show all. Skill. It's under skill. I doubt it. Uh, screw it. We're just going to buy it from buy mode. I really shouldn't be buying them anything, though. Honestly, I shouldn't. But if it'll help her be less tense, I guess we should do it. Private journal. See, you get a lot more options when you do it this way. Now, Eleanor's usually wearing that red shirt, so we'll get her the red journal, I guess. save. I always save when I buy or build something. So apparently it's under activities and skills. Good to know, good to know. Now that I've spent all the time buying you that, I guess you don't want to write in it anymore. Of course not. What an inventory. There, now you've got a journal. Are you happy now? It's only couple bucks. She has like twenty dollars or something. Oh, twenty-eight apparently. Apparently a journal counts as kid stuff. Get to know Alice Ann. Well, we can do that currently since she's actually here. Talk about grilled cheese. I don't get that at all. Ask to move in. Seriously? I guess we can do the ward thing. Someday, when we need to. Sports right. Yeah, we know. Oh, look, more crap she wants to buy. Saunas and hot tubs, things that cost as much as their entire current savings. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Considering you gotta pay bills tomorrow. 
with Avon. All right, so we got a little over an hour before Abelard's home. So what I think I'm going to do is, um, now don't hold me to this because I'm terrible at keeping a schedule, uh, but I think that if I stream before like 8 p.m. Eastern time, it'll probably be my Simstros characters. If I stream after 8 p.m., it'll maybe be my orphanage. But I've got a couple other ideas for other towns, it's like some Rags to Riches thing, and I've got a retail chick, and I've got a vampire chick, and I don't know. We shall see. It seems like my orphanage has the most interest because everybody on the planet loves babies except me. So I think the orphanage gets the most attention. It's just, it's so stressful and it's just gonna get worse. So I needed a break from it for a bit. Alice and just became best friends with Eleanor. Yay. Washing more invisible dishes. She wants to tell a joke. Okay, we'll go tell a joke to Andre, Andre, because he's barely been in the club very long. Sunset Valley. Ha ha, it's hilarious. It's a town from an earlier Sims game. Funny stuff. Okay. Of course, now she doesn't want to tell a joke. Now she's over there. Sometimes these lot traits are really annoying. It's like their moods change so quick because they're lot traits. Yes, vampires rock. Okay, cool. Seriously? What is this? Dishwasher. I don't even remember how much the dishwashers are. I think we'll wait till after the bills. We probably have enough, but. That just means they're going to be struggling a bit. Should I let her get a dishwasher? I don't know. 343. I guess we'll let them get a dishwasher, though that just means that it's going to be another week of slave driving them into making enough money to pay their bills. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Don't know why half the time my build mode takes an hour. Come on, let's go. La 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 la, let's go. I don't get it. Sometimes I hit build by and it takes like three seconds. Sometimes it takes like ten minutes. It's peculiar. Seriously? My goodness make me stop buying stuff. They already made me stop going to the community lots because of this crap. We're getting the cheapest one because you guys really do not have the money at all for this nonsense. 150. Thank goodness because I think the cheapest one before was like 600 or something. So they should still be able to pay their bills this week. We won't talk about next week. Should see what's up with him since he just got home. Need to go to the bathroom. Why are you not listening to me? Go to the bathroom. Then go do something fun. Okay. Anyway. Hey, look. You're a club freak and the club's here. You should be thrilled. Dangerous whining. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> uh, yeah, hot tub, babe. Keep on dreaming. I think I already like got rid of all her stuff in the basement too. I should really fix this basement. I know I'm gonna regret it though. But I like got rid of all their lights and stuff down around the pool because they needed the money. Which we'll just end up selling it again, I'm sure. Okay, so let's get the pool lights back in here. Should have done this when I had it. See, look at that, that time. 
that time it like took three seconds to load. I don't get it. It's like I want something semi-fancy but not too expensive. That's pretty cheap. We're not going to overlate the place either. should probably fix the floor. I think it's dirt right now. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Tiles. Forget what I had. I think I had that in one of the other houses, so we'll use a different one in this house. It's a bit dark. I like dark, but I don't know. Maybe something a bit lighter. I don't really like the checkerboard look at all. Nah. Don't like a lot of these. I don't know. I just don't like many of these. Well, that's... It's the checkerboard look, but it's different. Let's see what it looks like. I don't know why. That's weird. Do I gotta, like, use some outdoor thing? <laughs> okay, fine. That's not showing up. So I guess we'll use some outdoor thing. I don't... I don't know. What is going on there? It's a little strange. Because I must have hit remove floor and something. I don't know. That's kind of funky. What does that look like? Only edit exposed train. I, I don't know why this is like being weird. Was this one right? Must be applied to a floor. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Something strange is going on in this house. I really gotta do this just to get a floor back. Yeah, that's what I had to do. That's a little psychotic. That cost us a lot of money. I'm not impressed at all. I didn't even see how much that cost. Honestly. That was pool trim free. I don't even remember. No, it's not. Well, this one is. There. Now, we still have our lights, but I did get rid of the ladder. So I guess we'll get a ladder before they start whining about that. And I don't think I can fit the, um... I didn't think I can fit the diving board down here for some reason. I think I tried it before and it did not cooperate at all. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work, but yeah, it doesn't work down here. I think you got to be outside because it's too high. you got to, like, have 15 feet of space above the diving board. So you can have a diving board inside, apparently. Which is weird, because I've been to indoor pools that have diving boards. But anyway, we won't talk about it. Access logic. You know we're just going to end up selling all that stuff again, though. You know it. You know it. Oh crap, the wallpaper's gone now too. Oopsie. Now you're gonna take another hour if I try to go back into this. Reached cooking level four. Good for you. Now I think we had paneling in there or something. I don't think it was paneling, was it? I don't remember. That was this one. your hair look funky, dear? Did you put highlights in your hair when I wasn't looking? Okay. That's fine. Um, all 
ready. I'm amazed neither of them are trying to go to bed. They're in the habit of going to bed way too freaking early. your TV and scavenge for parts. There's somebody at the door. Haley Rose and her porn name. And she's got like 700 kids too, I believe. Eight kids. Eight freaking kids. What? What? Game restart. I did, I think, change the baby mode of decay. I think that's the only one I changed that needs a game restart. But I didn't have any babies in this house, so I figured there was no point. Okay. Eight kids. Eight kids. That ain't right at all. Okay, anyway. So I guess after the stream I'll restart the game because it's given me weirdness. I tend to leave my game paused when I'm not playing it, just because I hate waiting on it to load. It's not as bad as Sims 3 load time-wise yet, but it's pretty bad. See? Just think about doing the first thing in the list and she changes her mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Haley, do you think you're in this club? Because you're really not. Your little low-born butt and your eight kids. hours ago, and when I'm feeling like I'm hungry, it's really hard to, like, concentrate. <laughs> and I shouldn't be hungry. Okay, anyway. Plus, there's nothing in the house I really want to eat anyway, so, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's exciting, Annabelle. Thanks for sharing. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so sarcastic with my sims. I just don't want to fast forward when there's this many people around because I gotta keep track of who's doing what. 
because I don't trust them. I don't trust my sims. They're all lust-filled little beasts. Like Tyrion. <laughs> Chat with Avalar, yes? Hello? Can I help you? Healy is pretty. But she's wearing yellow, and she's got eight kids. So, strike one and strike two, babe. <laughs> and your little born, strike three. Alright, now she's hungry. Go eat something, Ben, please. Oh, now somebody's in the way. Hey, gonna what are you doing? You're gonna make food. Okay, great. I think that's peachy. But please don't set our house on fire. She's gonna go finish eating the food she did not finish earlier. Oh, I'm getting fancy there, Aegon. Please don't set the house on fire. Please don't. We really don't need that problem right now. You know what the heck he's making? Shut forbidden words. Did he make more than one? No. <laughs> okay. Of course not. That would make sense. I keep watching the door too, because there's always people at the door. Okay. I really shouldn't have spent money fixing the pool, but it was annoying me. So yeah, at least now we know. That if you accidentally hit remove floor, you've got to use the room tool to get your floor back and finish it. The more you know. Midnight Massacre 3. Apparently, three sofa is not enough. We need more chairs. <laughs> I don't know. What do you even make? French toast. And it's excellent. Oh, she wants to actually talk to Haley? Why? Why do you want to talk to Haley? I don't know. Uh, funny, funny story to Haley. Abelard is learning the following traits about Alice and she loves the outdoors. Apparently, that's the trait they gave her when she aged up, because I never gave her that trait. How's the homework there, bud? I'm gonna go and be funny with this lowborn chick that has eight kids for some unfathomable reason. Hello, baby machine. Wanna hear a funny story? <laughs> wow, this is quite the club gathering. Usually they go to bed like three seconds after it starts, but it's been going for a while now. And I think she started it like this morning. Amabel is making food. I'm just glad they can pay their bills this week. But of course, after they pay them, they'll be broke as you know what again. <sighs> Alright. So I don't know what house I'll be playing in the next stream. I've got a couple other ideas too for new houses, but I don't know. I'm being indecisive. Oliver B. Erickson has aged up a child and got a ridiculous looking hat. Poor child. Praise vampire lifestyle. And two seconds later, I'm afraid of vampires, but I love their lifestyle. Chat with Haley. Don't know why she wants to spend all her time talking to Miss Lowborn here. But whatever. And Andre's doing our dishes. Great. Cool. These people are so helpful today. Avalar and Aegon are hugging, comparing their 
dog-like ways. Yeah, I got I got Sally sent out on a date. Really? I hit on Amabel. <laughs> Potty time. And we only have one bathroom now because I got rid of the servants' quarters one. Andrew, could you get out of my bathroom, please? I gotta go. Yeah, they need to, like... What? Allison is trying to throw drinks at Miss Haley here. Alright, um, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Yeah, I, I'd leave too if somebody was trying to throw a drink at me. So weird. Allison just gets in these weird moods, like her and Eleanor both. They just, like, they have no traits that make them scumbags, but all of a sudden they just start being mean out of nowhere. Strange. And she wants foods. Foods. Amabel, are you trying to go to sleep in our bed? Alright, that's it. This coke gathering has went on long enough. You cannot be going to sleep in our bed. <laughs> yes, we used to have another bed. And another bathroom. But we had to sell them so we could pay our bills. Oh god. Seriously. after you were done eating. Dang it, girl. She's got chew and handiness. Amabel, you really need to get out of the bed. Okay, and he's freaking starving, and I don't know why he's not eating. Ugh, my. He's just standing there staring at the wall for some reason. with Amabel. Well, tell her a joke as you kick her out of your bed. <laughs> but right now you gotta eat. Peas. Seriously? That's the best thing you can come up with? Are you gonna do your thing where you don't eat again? Oh, he made food for more than one person. That's impressive. Eat your food, then put it away, then wake her silly butt up and get her out of our bed. And then go to sleep. Yeah, you better eat before you do all that too. None of this cue dropping crap. Let's see, does he work tomorrow? Yes, he does. He's got everything he needs for promotion, but oh well. I'm just surprised he made food for more than one person for once. Alrighty. You eat quite slow, bud. She's already done with her wonderful peas. She's like, screw it, I don't care if Elmbell's on our bed, I'm going to bed. She doesn't care. She's like, alright, sleep over with Elmbell. Have fun sleeping on the couch there, Avalar. I'd probably pick Amabel over Avalar too. Avalar did ask Alice out on a date after all. We don't trust him. Alright, um, Harley Nye is aged up to child. Good for Harley. Amabel. Could you GTFO? I love you and all, but GTFO. I gotta go to bed. Cute PJs, by the way. Now get out. I didn't mean for Eleanor to get... Oh, so... You know, I didn't really care what side you were sleeping on, dear. I really didn't. It didn't really matter to me, honest. But okay. Whatever. Whatever, Sims. Probably gonna go about another half an hour and then try to find something edible. Like I said, there's it's like there's nothing in this house I want to eat. I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat anything in the house. Oh, problems, problems. Yeah, you gotta go to the bathroom too, kid. 
It's almost 6 a.m. Now that is a styling purple speedo. Oh, we're loving it. Loving it. Okay. Anyway. Then you can take your shower. Complain about the room being a mess, because that's fun too. Oh my goodness. This stereo is supposed to have a reliability of 8, and it's literally broken every freaking day. It's no Eleanor. Really? You already know every trait she has, but okay. Alright, now, they both work today, I believe. He's still in a bad mood because of the, uh, room being a mess. Oh, and this is all dirty, too. Someday, we'll get our butler again. Although, in my orphanage, I'm about ready to throw the butler through the window, because all she does is get in the way. Oh. Um. Okay. I've never seen them do that before. I'm trying to clean the bathtub while the other one's in it. That's multitasking at its finest, I guess. Okay, you need to go and fix this other thing. This reliability 8 stereo, which is broken every freaking day. You gotta go to work soon anyway. Guess you don't need to clean this now, because she's doing that. So we'll go back to her. Come on, hurry up, girl. You gotta go to work soon, too. She doesn't start till 9, at least. Hey, look at that. I was just gonna tell you to do that, even though you're having fits about it. Ew, gross. I had to clean a bathtub. My life is over. Squeamish god. At least she used the right thing. <laughs> really? It was a pile of metal scraps. Um, there are grosser things to touch. He's gonna leave in like less than an hour and he's busy working on this stereo right now, babe. So what is their relationship now? Lovers, to be in love is a beautiful thing. She's so upset about having to pick up the, the pieces of metal. <laughs> oh my. And he's got an invisible microchip board thing. I'm sure that'll be exactly what you need to do to fix it is operate on that invisible motherboard thing. Is that what works? Because I'm sure you love doing that too. on, but since I have no custom music, there's really no freaking point. <laughs> no point. So I usually only turn it on when they have a, I want to dance whim. Heard she got a promotion, congrats. We're not going to Shay Lama. I gotta be at work in like half an hour, babe. She is engagement monkey. That's not a promotion. You must be trying to talk to Avalar. Because she hasn't gotten a promotion for a couple days. 
You need to eat a little faster, dear. Shawan Norton has aged up to child. Jordan Norton has aged up to child. Scarlett Norton has aged up to child. Uh, um, Alright. So she's gotta go to work, like, stat. Do they both work till three? Yes, they do. Alright, you've had enough of your sandwich, go to work. You're full anyway. See, now she's complaining about the journal. I got her one and she hasn't used it. Oh, I think I accidentally sold it. Or something. Glenn Bjergsen is age 15. Katarina Bjergsen is age 15. So, did I accidentally sell her? Her thing? So he's a oh, she's a clickbait writer now. She's in French clickbait writer. Hmm. She's not making an additional six dollars per hour for a grand total of twenty nine per hour. She lets her receive the following bonus one eighty three, respond to mail, share image. And she would owe now so same schedule, nine to three, Monday through Friday. And I'd like to know where this thing went. She's back in her little retail outfit from like high school. Yeah, go take a shower and get out of that outfit. What's your deal, bud? Go do something fun. Okay. Yeah, every time she gets a promotion, they put her back in this stupid little retail outfit. It's weird. Alright, so what does it say? It's your whole job to write articles that bring people to your website. Whether the articles match their titles or not isn't your problem. The more incense the readers are, the better. She needs another 60 followers. And she needs two more in either comedy or mischief. Okay. It's the first time I've had a social media sim that like got past the first step of their career. <laughs> so I'm like, what? What you doing, girl? And why didn't we get bills today? Isn't it Monday? I mean, not that I really want bills, but... She wants to go to work feeling playful. Well, we're going to do the little, um, cheaty thing. It's not really cheaty. It's just an easy way around that. When you have a sim who wants to go to work in a certain mood or whatever, if you have the previous Sims 3 expansion packs, you should have a little plum bob lights, which I'll give an emotional aura. Playful. That's confident, inspiring, romantic, environment playful. Ew, it's orange. Isn't there a better one? <laughs> I don't want orange. Ah, blue. Blue is a little better than orange. So. I really like my candles better, but I suppose that'll do. Actually, I guess we could put it. Could we put it by the TV? No. I like my candles better. But, whatever. $110 for that thing. And I'm not really going to save because it's not really that important. <laughs> it's not really that important. Plus, I've got auto save. Oh my goodness. Why are you always breaking stuff? Fix it. I mean, technically they could afford a handyman, but they're going to need money as soon as the bills show up, and I don't know why they're not showing up on Monday like they normally do. Again, I'm hearing stupid annoying cars, and I hate it. Alright. So she needs comedy or mischief. But right now, we're not going to have her really worry about any of that. Because at the moment, they can afford their bills. Mm, for one week, anyway. That is her handiness now. Two. 
So she's got one in comedy and one in mischief. Yeah, I know. Get over it. Get over it. You and your squeamish. Oh, now she's hitting us level 3 from digging through some junk. Great. Only problem with having that journal in her thing is now I can't do my clean inventory thing because I'll accidentally sell it. But whatever. Is playful. Yeah, playful is her ideal mood. So I'm gonna have her update this really quickly because it's something it takes like literally one second to do. Share image. We could do that too, I suppose, since it's her new thing that she can do. Let's see how many followers that gets her. Since she's young and pretty, that's all that matters when you're on social media. <laughs> anyway. Who, me? Jaded? Not at all. Share image. See if that gets her her followers or whatever. Actually, I don't know if that counts for her. It says update her status, but we'll try it once just to see. She does need 60 more followers, so either way, she'll get her something. What is he even doing? Didn't I tell you to go do something fun? Perfect image for today's mood. Your followers felt the same. Eleanor has gained 25 followers. She now has 65 followers in total. Alright, yeah. Now, did that count towards her thing boo? No. So I guess we have to do that too. Normally I don't care about this daily task, but that one's so easy. Alright, and after this you can do whatever you want, dear. So she needs another 35 followers and two more points. She's now at 85. Really, this job is like <laughs> the easiest job ever. She's gonna troll to forums now. That takes her two years. I guess we'll go back to him. <sighs> Again, he's making food and not eating it, but that's fine because he has to go to the bathroom right now. Now, I'm thinking about getting them a guest bathroom just because. Their hall is freaking huge. Now the question is, do I put it behind the kitchen, up in part of the great hall? I really should not be spending money at all, but it's annoying me that they gotta walk all the way through their bedroom and stuff to get to there. Alright, so... We could put it like right next to the kitchen, or over in this corner, or right in the middle there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being indecisive again. It doesn't have to be very big because it's just a guest bathroom. Let's do that. 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 Get a door on it, which is fancy but not too fancy. Squeaks and creaks. I like that door. Okay. Walls, doors, a light of some sort. I'll just grab the lights that we already have. No windows needed. Um, floor covering. 
don't know. I guess we should do tile. Ooh, that's funky. Probably should be a little lighter since it is a bathroom, but I really don't like the brown, so we'll go with the off black. <laughs> sort of a gray, charcoal, whatever. Alright, there is the floor coverings. Oh yes, and the wall coverings. Gotta fix this now. See, it doesn't have to be big. It's just a little half bathroom, so they don't have to, so people don't have to walk the whole way through their freaking bedroom. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, wall coverings. Come on, let's go. I was just there, wasn't I? I don't know. I'll just do all and then find the first one that looks tolerable, I guess. I think that will work for a bathroom. Okay. And since they don't have to worry about gremlins, I can get them that unbreakable toilet that is unrepairable. Yes, unbreakable and unrepairable. The brown hills have taught us all about this toilet. Okay. That. And a sink. I'll use the same sink we have in the other room because who needs diversity, right? Um, okay. okay. And a stupid little mirror that nobody cares about. <laughs> okay. I have all these custom mirrors and none of them work anymore. Ever since the, um, I think, city living, none of the custom mirrors work anymore. you want to be there. Other objects. Oh, because I used alt to move the sink. Is that really your problem? Yeah, that was really your problem, wasn't it? Stupid, silly, nexus behavior. Alright, so there is their guest bathroom. Yeah, there is a servant's bathroom downstairs, but we're not really doing anything with that right now. Oh, crap. That cost way more money than it should have. But anyhow, probably going to be ending the stream soon anyway, because it's been just about two hours. So yeah, um, let's get him doing what he needs to be doing. She's trolling her forums. I was going to have you work in comedy before mischief, but hey, whatever you want, girl. Alrighty. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a good way to decide which house to play in each stream. I know the orphanage is the one that seems the most popular, but we shall see. Anyway, since he's dealing with his crap, she's gonna go make some foods. Probably put like little couches in here. Just so it doesn't look so weird that there's like space on either side. But we won't worry about that right now. Anyway, so since it's been just about two hours, I think I'm going to end it there. So thank you for anybody that is watching this. And if you are viewing it on YouTube, please hit like so more people can find my channel. And please, please, please go follow me at Twitch TV. Um, Nocturnus76, the link will be in the description, because I still need another 40 followers before I can get Twitch Affiliate, which I desperately need. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Don't know what house I'll be playing, what town I'll be playing, but I guess we'll just have to stay tuned and find out, won't we? So, see you in the next one, everybody.